tracking the tropics now, and we are monitoring not one, but two different systems. WDSU Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr joins us now. Margaret? And we're watching Gaston, which is the seventh tropical storm of the season. Looks like it's going to become the third hurricane of the season. I really could care less about Gaston. What I'm watching is Invest 99L. But first, we'll look at Gaston. It certainly is organized. It's moving into some dry air. It's over warm water. And it could become a Cat 2 hurricane as you go into Sunday. Something to monitor if you're going to be traveling uh, by ship. Meanwhile, we are looking at Invest 99L. Air Force Reconnaissance plane went in. They found it's elongated, doesn't have an organ organized circulation. But if you look at it carefully, what I am seeing is a flare up of activity on the south end. So it's farther to the south, I believe, and it does look like that convection is getting going. It's over very warm water. So we can look at the forecast models, and I want you to notice they're showing up with the system farther to the north and pretty much all take it into the Bahamas. The global forecast model has just updated and you're not gonna like it. So as we look at the forecast, here's a look at the system still farther to the north than what was uh, actually occurring and it brings it over towards possibly the Texas or Louisiana coast. This is an update from before, not something we like, but it's still far out in time and it could change. Meanwhile, we can look at the European model, which is actually indicating closer to where it is. And that forecast takes it into the Bahamas right there at Miami as you go into Sunday and then brings it very close to home. So these are two global models that are fairly accurate, but this is far in advance and it's subject to change. The timing we're looking at is next Wednesday. So we're gonna have to watch it carefully. I'll be here keeping you posted.